you know that in Redshift for Cinema 4D, it is very easy to create a worn edges shader? Let's have a look at this example scene here, where this metal plate seems to have scratched or damaged edges. Actually, Redshift only requires three components for one edges shader. First, a curvature node. This node works similar to inverted ambient occlusion, that means it samples its environment on the inner side of a polygon. With an adjustable sampling radius, the shader can thus determine where the object occludes itself and visualizes the result with a white on black curvature map. For clearer results, tick the checkbox Consider Same Object Only. Second, we need a max on noise node. Combined with a curvature node, this will cause irregularities to appear. In the example, I have chosen an Ober noise with strongly narrowed clipping. The third and last component is a color layer node. This node works similar to the layer shader from the classic material system or the layer system from Photoshop. Here, up to seven inputs can be merged as layers mixed and masked with each other. Now we create our one edges shader from these three nodes. For this, we connect the curvature node to the base layer port of the color layer node and the noise node to the layer one color port of the color layer node. In the color layer node, we select the calculation mode multiply for this layer one. By this, the noise now eats away random looking parts from the curvature node. Our one edges shader is finished and ready for use. In our case, the shader is piped into another color layer node in which several noises and textures are already mixed together in order to vary reflection, weight, roughness and direction of the material. Here, our one edge shader simply masks a black layer, thus creating dark irregularities at the edges of the object. Important to note, in solo mode, the one edge shader still looks quite sharply defined and clean, but in its actual application, however, this is no longer recognizable. So it is always important to keep an eye on the overall material. Please have a look at the finished project Laser Line Laser Cladding via the link below. If you like this video, press the subscribe button and don't miss the next episode of Did You Know Ratchet for Cinema 4D every Wednesday on this channel.